how to end a song or voice with a reverb echo effect. Today we have an exciting tutorial for you. We are going to explore how to end a song or voice with a cool reverb echo effect using Premiere Pro. So if you want to add the professional touch to your tracks and impress your audience, you are in the right place. Let's get started. This is really simple to do in Premiere Pro. You can add the reverb to a layer where you want it. So you need a minimum of two audio tracks in your timeline. Okay, now let's go to the panels and search for the audio track mixer. If you don't have this panel, go to the window menu above and find audio track mixer. Then check it on just like I do. Now go to the panel and you will see all the track panels. Choose the panel you want to use for this reverb effect and then expand it just like I do. Here you can easily add an effect to your track. Select reverb and then choose the studio reverb effect. How to make your voice much better. As you can hear, you have put a nice reverb effect on the track. But this reverb doesn't have a smooth ending. So what we need to do is make it longer. You can simply achieve this by adding more footage. As an example, I will add an adjustment layer. How to make your voice much better. If you listen, it sounds pretty good. Make the adjustment layer as long as you want. If you are not satisfied with the echo or want to change something in the reverb, go to the track settings and double click on the effect, just like I do. Here, you can change the settings. If you want the reverb echo to be longer or shorter, adjust the desi. Increase it for a longer echo and decrease it for a shorter echo. This method works the same with a song. How to make your voice much better. This is all what you need to know. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you want more tutorials like this.